Hello everyone, today we will see how to do the connections of XT546 and the parameters related to it. First, let's see the connection diagram. We can see the connection diagram on right side of timer. As you can see, terminal 1 and 2 are for the input supply. Terminal 3, 4, and 5 are for relay 1. Similarly, terminal 8, 9, 10 are for relay 2. Terminal 11 and 6 are for start signal, you can connect external start button on this. Similarly, terminal 6 and 7 are for terminal reset. Let's see the programming parameters. To enter programming mode, press set and program key for 3 seconds simultaneously. Lot will be displayed on screen. By default, the password is 85. After pressing the set key, you will enter in programming mode. Next is output modes, which is selectable as per requirement. On delay mode, the relay will be in on condition after the predefined time delay. To navigate through mode, you have to press program key. In interval mode, the relay will be in on condition for predefined time. As set time elapsed, the relay will get turned off. Next mode is cyclic on, that is cyclic on first. In this mode, you can define on time as well as off time, as per user requirement. In cyclic on mode, first relay will be in on condition, and then in off condition. Similarly, in cyclic off mode, you can define on and off time. The difference is, first the relay will be in off condition, and then in on condition as defined time. In XT546, there are four modes. On delay, interval, cyclic on, and cyclic off. To set any mode, press set key. Next, we can select time range. R-S is time range. To scroll through time range, press program key. Various time range will be displayed. LED indication shows time range selected. You can set time in minutes, hours, and in seconds. For setting time you have to press set key. Next is starting method. In that you will see gate start or pulse start. In gate start, the timer starts at power on. In pulse start, timing starts on momentary closure of switch connected between start and common terminal. You can select gate start or pulse start as per the requirement. Next parameter is FPR. FPR means front panel reset. If FPR is yes, timer can be reset through front key. Next is POR, that is power on reset. If the set time is 10 seconds and power on reset is no. If power interrupts and after some time power resumes, the timer will not get reset. It will resume from the point at which it was stopped. Timer will auto exit programming after 30 seconds if no key is pressed. Power on reset, which is selectable between yes or no as per user requirement. Next parameter is default. To restore the setting to default, which is selectable between yes or no. Now, if you press set key then, timer will scroll through the parameters. To exit programming, press program and set key together for 3 seconds. 